Greetings from ISP on a brisk Friday morning at the beginning of the second semester of the 22-23 school year. I'm hoping to bring the community today a brief update, a state of the school, if you will, on things that are going on at school this year, as well as changes that we're thinking about for the next academic year. This is the first year post-COVID that it's actually felt like a pretty normal year. We've got kids learning. We've got activities and sports going on here on campus. We've got community that are volunteering on a regular basis. And things are really going well here at ISP. I'm pleased to see the learning that's happening. I'm pleased to see how kids are thriving. And I'm really pleased to see how hard our faculty work are working on behalf of your kids and our families. One of the things I was asked to do when I came to ISP is to think about how do we take ISP as good as it is and make it even better, especially in light of the real challenges that we're facing as a community, as a country, as a world. How do we prepare our kids so they can truly be change makers and make a difference in the years ahead? We've been thinking about this very seriously and indeed are making changes. One of the changes that was made a year ago was that we would become a full continuum authorized IB school. What that means is, is that in addition to our IB or International Baccalaureate Diploma Program in the upper school, which we've had for over 20 years and is very reputable and very successful, we would be adding an IB authorized program in the primary years or PYP, the middle years, or middle MYP, which is grades 6 through 10, as well as we would be adding the CP, or the Career Pathways Program. This means that we'd be called a four-program school, have all of the IB programs across our school, and that we would be the only school authorized in Prague with all of these programs. This gives our students great advantage. The IB core, the framework upon which we draw from, gives them advantages in what they are learning, how they are learning it, and it gives them great portability, whether it be to another international school around the globe or to a college or university after they graduate from us. This is a big lift for our team, but we're making great progress. Typically, it takes 24 to 36 months to become authorized. We are on schedule and on track for that authorization, and we anticipate being authorized during the next school year in 23-24. This next week, we're going to have our consultants, our IB consultants, on, on site, and they'll be helping us guide us through some of those authorization requirements. Every Wednesday, we've had our faculty that have been meeting for 90 minutes. They show up at 7.30 in the morning and get to work right away, working on our IB programming, our units of inquiry, and other important things that we're doing in order to make sure that your students have the best possible experience at ISP. Some of the changes that we're thinking about for next year is a new schedule. Because of the requirements of the IB, as well as what we think is best for kids in making us truly the most exceptional, innovative, and impactful progressive IB school in Europe, we're making a schedule change. We're going to be starting the school day 15 minutes earlier, so at 8.30 a.m. rather than 8.45, and we'll be ending at the same time at 3.30 in the afternoon. This extra 15 minutes, why, well, not a lot of time, actually gives us the advantage of being able to make some significant changes. In the middle school and upper school, we're going to be moving from an eight-block schedule to a ten-block schedule. That means that for our, our DP students, the higher level courses and the standard level courses will be able to meet our hour requirements in those courses, which means that HL students will have more academic time on their HL courses and SL courses will be better paced for actually where the way that those courses were to be, to be, to be designed. Excuse me. In addition, we're going to be embedding into those schedules an advisory twice a week for middle school and upper school students. This gives us the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with students and really give them the attention that they need around everything from self-management to time management skills to relationship issues to things like college planning or maybe debriefing their week without walls. This is a great time to connect with students and is really needed inside of our school. 
At the elementary, we're going to be implementing a new SEL program or social emotional learning program and be using that extra time in order to make sure that kids are deeply connected into their homeroom with their homeroom teacher and bringing forward specific SEL skill development during that time. We're also making some schedule changes in the elementary that's going to give us more choice about things like world language and it's going to embed our EAL programming and some of our other programming like, uh, uh, like technology so that we have more time for art, music, outdoor education, and language. In the elementary world, language in particular was surfaced as something that we might want to consider making improvements upon. Not necessarily the language itself, but on the number of offerings for our students. So specifically, for Czech, we've made a decision that we're going to be embedding beginning Czech language and Czech culture across, across the elementary in all classrooms and embedding those opportunities inside of units. That means that we'll no longer require a, every first year student to take Czech, but rather they're going to have a choice of language and we're going to provide some new offerings depending upon demand so that they can take French, German, Spanish, or Czech and they'll have those options available to them, again, provided that we have enough kids sign up for those particular language choices. We'll also be offering additional Czech before school and after school so that those that are really interested in diving deep into the Czech language will have those opportunities. In the middle school, one of the requirements of the MYP is a design course. Design is a really exciting course where you apply your learning, apply the design process and design thinking to projects um, in a number of areas. And this is now going to be a part of the schedule in the, in the middle school, as well as additional um, uh, elective choices. Because we're going to a 10-block schedule, this is going to provide more choice for students within the context of that schedule. So these are a few of the really exciting changes for next academic year that I wanted to share with you today. In addition, we have a phenomenal opportunity in that each year we have faculty move on, often to retirement and sometimes to other schools. And when, th when that happens, we have the opportunity to hire new faculty that have international experience, and in this case, IB experience, and are really excited about the mission of our school and about working with kids. Next year, we have 24 new faculty members coming, and I just have to say, they are amazingly talented faculty. For every job that we post, we get between 100 and 200 applicants, and we really do get to choose from the best of the best. We also have a few other projects that are underway right now that, we'll, that I'm anticipating I'm going to be hearing from soon in the form of recommendations and a strategy. First is we've been working on the facility roadmap. This is what are the large facility projects we should be contemplating between now and 2030 to make sure that not only do we have world-class teaching and not only do we have world-class curriculum and programming, but we also have a world-class facility for our learners to make sure that they have access to the things that they need so that their learning is truly top-notch. In addition, we're looking at our cafeteria services. What kind of innovation and efficiencies can we bring to our cafeteria, as well as nutritional choices and a new way of empowering students in their, in their choices? We have other task forces that are also underway, uh, many of which um, we don't have time to cover today. But, but, but rest assured, we are working hard and really working to improve ISP and, and, and come along that good to great journey or great to greater as is often referenced in the case of our school. I am honored to be leading here at ISP in Prague. I find myself uh, enjoying every day that I'm engaging with your children, uh, with your teachers, um, and with our community. Thank you for entrusting your children to us and come alongside us as we go along this journey. Hopefully you will enjoy uh, the rest of the academic year and we look forward to continue to engage with you this academic year, next academic year, and hopefully many years beyond. Have a great afternoon and a great weekend. Happy 2023.